all right Jean-Serge Gagnard the creator of the active group Chrome extension I'm excited you're here you're going to learn how to use the active group extension how to get it to find the top people to engage with in groups so you get more sales and more leads we're going to show you how to do that so first you will have it installed and you will need an access key so all you got to do is click on this here to go find your access key what you're going to need to do is you need to register an account it's free you just click on this here you can continue as your Facebook account if you will I'm just going to go and use email and password over here I'm just going to call it uh just a new account here for testing just so that we have a new account when you click on the register it'll send you an email and you're gonna need to click that link we're gonna kind of show you that in just a second right now yeah so that email will look like this all you got to do is you click on this link here to activate your access your account and then when you go back to the extension over here you can just click on this uh, actually sorry find the extension key right here it'll open up another tab doesn't mean you add it but you click on this view access key right here you just copy it and then you go back to the extension and you put it in all right so that that's the first part of accessing the extension once you have the extension it'll show you right here that who you're logged in as right your email address and then you can just put a, a Facebook groups in here so just go to Facebook and find the groups that your target markets are in right so you go in here and let's just say I go into my groups I'm into affiliate marketing into online marketing that kind of stuff so it doesn't really matter which group I choose I can go to any of these groups and basically I just go to the group and I take the link of the group right here and I put it inside the Chrome extension I just load it up again I put it right down here and then I say add right so that lets me add and next a, a group to the extension sorry I shouldn't I guess I should have left it there but yeah so the group is there now and the way that the extension works is you click on this little start button and it'll start running it right so when you click on the start it basically starts up a new uh window it goes away and it starts up in the background but if I look at the list of windows I have on my computer you see there's a new tab right now and that new tab is just going to start to scrape the data we'll let it run and we'll come right back to it yeah so as you can see as it's running you can see it open up multiple tabs and you can also see this number right here that's going up right now it's showing 10 and as it loads up more pages and it scrolls through and it finds more uh, comments this number is going to go up until it completes which we'll be right back all right it's up to 37 now I don't know how much how many more it's going to find it really depends on the groups you can you can post you can put multiple groups in the list it's not just the one group I just put one group for this for this uh, demo right but now it's gonna I think is gonna complete is it I believe so and there you go so it closes it up now if I open this back up over here you're going to see now down the bottom it says last scrape found 47 comments from 34 people in five posts from <coughs> one group right and we put one group but like I said you can add up to three groups and depending on the plans there's more uh more options you can do and the plans over here you can see the different plans uh but yeah okay so now you want to go and check out the actual data right so the data when you click on this button it'll load up the data view for your scrape that you had right here as you can see right here you can see the profile name which group it's part of whether which post it is what comment it was how long ago the comment was and then you can even add notes to the these things now I'm going to log out and I'm going to go back into my account so you can see kind of how how it works after a, after a while of using it and we'll be right back all right so now this is my data from a bunch of groups as you can see there's like nine or ten groups that I put in there and you can see the users and the numbers you're seeing here so here's a few important things to understand so first of all the count that is right here is how many times I visited that particular person's profile in the past we'll get to you know you'll I'll show you kind of the process uh here's their profile here's our notes so notes are for this particular person I put a note here so anytime that this name shows up in the list I'm going to see this note I'm going to know that they don't have any public posts right over here it shows me when I visited their profile last so this says four days ago this says 11 hours ago 
uh 14 days right uh 10 days five days 13 hours whatever right so that's how long ago I actually you know clicked and visited their profile this is the post and the comment so if I just mouse over it here I can see the full comment right uh any of these right I can see the full comment of their post and then I can also see when that particular comment happened I am um, once you've once you've done this you've been using it for a while you can you see records from previous uh executions um so I could go and load load those up but okay so how do you use this data how do you use the data right so how you use the data is basically you go through the list that's here and you visit those profiles now you could do that yourself on Facebook sure you could do that yourself on Facebook but one of the things you get out of this tool is first of all the links are given to you right there you don't have to go to the group go to the post go to the comments then click on the profile persons then go to their profile and whatever and this takes you straight to their profile he is basically giving you a list of the people that are active in the groups as you can see this is when they commented in the group right over here these days Thursday 12 12 12 21 whatever that's when they were active so you know that these people are you know alive on Facebook they use Facebook it's no it's easier than going to the your friends list and your you know whose birthday it is today and those kinds of things because those people might not even be active on Facebook right this way you know they're active because they posted in groups <coughs> or they commented in groups so the way you do it is you just click on their profile like this Mark Mus Muscolo here I'm just going to click it it opens up the Facebook page of their profile and I can choose to do what I want with it I can send them a friend request if I want I can send them a message I can engage on their comments and on their posts by the way my recommendation is you engage on their posts on their profile you don't send them a friend request or uh, a message right away because they don't know who you are but if you're engaging on their post for a few few days for a week or something you know uh, they're going to start to see you in their notification they're going to be like who's this person they might go check your profile those kinds of things basically attraction marketing right but anyways it's it, what you do whatever you want with the tool obviously but <clears throat> that's kind of like best practices right so you would engage on this when you, you would of course read what they're saying and do a relevant comment you know don't just do random stuff it's it doesn't it's not worth it but anyways like I said that's not I'm not here to teach you how to use the tool or what to do with the data I'm just here to show you how to use the tool so once you've uh, done your whatever you wanted to do in that profile you go back to here and you can you know add a note right which one was this mark I can click here to add a note I can say um just commented on a few things right and then I just leave that there so that's going to be in my comments now the other thing you can do too is you can sort the data by any of these columns so if I want to see who I haven't seen in a while uh, I can just sort by the visited list right and see all the people I haven't seen yet and also the ones that I haven't seen in a while well that's my own profile but this one here Benda Sharma was 14 days ago it's probably good for me to visit again and you know maybe do some more comments on more recent posts so that they see me again in their notifications right that kind of stuff but yeah so that's kind of how you use the data from the extension um yeah all right so again if you oh and if you have any questions of course you can always reach out you can you can um share this extension by clicking the share here and copying this link um and uh obviously you can go and check out more about it on the about tab kind of talk about what the extension is you can even win a lifetime license if you uh, want you can register to win a license there too and things like that all right um have a great day we'll talk again soon